Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel for the first time. I am trying something different for today's video, so let me know in the comments down below how you like it. Usually for my renovation videos, I kind of talk you through the whole thing as I'm going. I work through the problems um, as they come up and then show you the end result once it's done. But for today's video, instead i'm going to start with the end project and i'm going to kind of narrate and go through how i did everything the problems that came about what i wish i would have done differently everything like that and just kind of do a voiceover so if you guys prefer this type of video let me know if you prefer the other type let me know i have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of projects coming for this new house and I want to know what you guys enjoy more. So as you can see, this is my finished pantry. Not completely finished. I'm going to add some organizational baskets and containers and everything like that. But we haven't actually moved in yet, so we don't have any food. <laughs> and this is what it currently looks like. So this might not look like a huge transformation for you guys, but it took a long time. And I'm really, really impressed with the results. It looks awesome it matches all the cabinets in the kitchen now and i'm so excited to start we still had everything that's in here this project only cost me 12 dollars for uh, i had to get some new polyurethane and i also had to get some brushes and those were the only things that i had to buy everything else i had but to start out this pantry looked very rough all of the wood shelving in here was stained it was sticky, it was gross. I started by taking all of this shelving out and going through and deep cleaning the inside of the pantry. These shelves are all resting on little like notches in there. The majority of them look like trim or there was a few of them that were just wood. I had to go through and deep clean everything, vacuum all of the old chips, the old pretzels, the old pasta noodles. There were mouse droppings. It was nasty. So I went through and vacuumed it and then cleaned it all up. And then the next thing that I had to work on were patching all of the holes. So from the way that it looked, it looked like that they had had wire shelving in here before. And those wire shelves left really bad holes and markings in the wall so i went through with some patch and paint putty and i just put that all over the walls to kind of smooth them out and i had to let that dry Once I waited the amount of time that was required to let it dry, I went through and sanded the walls down to make sure that they were nice and smooth. And then it was time to work on the actual wood shelves. So I took them all out into the garage, I laid them all out, and I started sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding. There were some really nasty, sticky parts that took a lot of elbow grease and everything, but they eventually turned out looking really nice. Once I was done sanding them, it was time to stain them. So I used a dark walnut colored wood stain for this. I'm in love with how they look. This matches everything in the kitchen. I had the stain left over from a project before, so it was really just nice to be able to use more of the stain. So I only did one coat of stain per side, and then I also only did a few of these edge pieces stained. In reality, I didn't know how much work it would take putting the shelves back in and getting them all even and together. So I should have stained the other sides just in case I needed to flip some around or move them around. I had just picked some and stained just single sides. I should have done all the sides, but it worked out fine. Out of the whole project, this part took the longest after one side was stained and needed a significant amount of time to dry. So I would try to find something else to work on because it needed to dry before I would flip it over and stain the other side. While these were drying, I came back inside and worked on the actual inside of the pantry. Once everything was sanded, I painted everything on the inside. I repainted the ceiling, the walls, the trim, everything. 
this was really rough and it really needed some fresh paint to spruce it up. I really just randomly picked a cream color that was already left in the basement, but I think that it ended up being the exact same color that this pantry was before, which I'm completely okay with. There are no more marks on the wall and it's much, much better now that it's been <laughs> freshly painted. So after each side of the shelf got a coating of stain, I came through and chose the best side <laughs> to use and put on coats of polyurethane. I believe I did two coats per shelf and I only did one side of this because it took so long to dry that I just wasn't patient. I think the two coats were just fine and I didn't need the undercoating uh, the underside of the shelf's coated anyway. Once everything was finally dry and to my liking, it was time to put all of the shelves back in. This took a lot of work trying to find out what fit best where. Some of the shelves were still a little bit stained that even though I stained it with the wood stain and made it darker, you could still see some of the spots in the wood underneath from when it was really stained with something else, uh, food or something before. And so I really wanted the not so good ones on the top so that I would never see them. In reality, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to have baskets and food and all sorts of stuff stored in here, so I won't be looking at empty shelves anyway, but it did take a lot of work to get everything the way I liked it, but once I finally did, I think it looks great. And so here we are. This is the final look of the pantry. I am so, so, so excited about this project. I'm glad that it got done before we even moved in so that I didn't have to deal with putting all of my food somewhere else i'm really excited about this that is pretty much it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel become a part of the family i have a lot of transformation renovation exciting videos coming in the future because this is a new house and we're gonna make it ours that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye